Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. My name is Ian, and today I want a very special BMW. This is a 2004 BMW Z4 uh, 2.5i. So it, even though it's a 2.5, it's still a straight six, and we've got a five-speed manual transmission. Um, and really the party piece, this car only has 61,000 miles on it. So in this video, uh, we're actually gonna start out by, by driving it. Um, I'm, in, I'm at a very beautiful spot here local to the dealer and I came here because there's some really fun twisty back roads uh, around this area uh, so we're gonna get to experience the Z4 on those uh, and then I'll show you around the whole car we'll go over its you know condition uh, some of the features uh, you know all the nice uh, boot space or, or trunk space sorry um, and you know check out the the engine bay just give you a whole condition overview um, of the Z4 it has a great owner history as well uh, you know always regularly regularly serviced so if you're new to the channel, welcome to Alpha Cars. We share uh, daily motoring content on exciting things like this BMW Z4. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. But now let's take this Z4 for a drive. So without further ado, Let's put it in first gear and take it for a little drive. So the clutch, very easy to use in the Z4 here. It's pretty light, but you get a lot of feedback. You know, you know, like right where that grab point is. It's, it's consistent every time. And we're gonna take a left here. And I've actually never driven a Z4 before. So I, I've driven Miatas, I've daily, I've daily driven Miatas um, of the same generation, of the kind of early 2000 generation. Um, and this feels awesome. The shifting feel is awesome. You've got that straight six with the 184 horsepower, two and a half liter. And this car weighs 2,900 pounds. You know, I believe the official curb weight's 2,932. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of power um, in a car this light. I mean, I can tap the throttle in second there and we're right up to 35 miles an hour. And now we've got this beautiful right-hand sweeper. I'm gonna go around here. Car corner is nice and flat. <laughs> this car just puts a smile on your face. It's so fun to drive. And of course, you know, the Miatas and stuff, they are so fun, especially autocross. You know, they have their, ho their own whole category of classes for even that form of motorsport but the z4 i've got a nice you know leather interior the materials inside are all very nice you know you get a lot of refinement in this uh you know kind of german roadster over you know maybe a a miata so like right up to, you know, around 45 miles an hour here without, without an issue. I'm not, you know, I'm not revving it out. This makes peak power at, I think about 6,000 RPM. And I'm just using that low end torque, you know, two to 4,000 RPM. And, you know, you, you kind of fly right up to the, uh, you know, local, local speed limit. The steering, so nice, you know, nice and direct, gives great feedback. And of course this car is factory. Uh, you know, it, it has, I believe, just some all-season tires, factory suspension, which the factory suspension, it's definitely firm. You know, you it, it feels like a little sports car, but it's it's firm in the way that you want it, where it's not harsh. And now a little acceleration there up to the speed limit, uh, around 45 on the on the main road. And I mean, you're through first and second, and you can almost just put it right into fourth or fifth. Uh, you know, you're, you're right up to the speed limit. So we could hear that nice, uh, you know, straight six sing. And like, like I was saying, this car is factory. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a clean slate, whether you just want to enjoy it as it is, or you want to put some stickier tires on it. Um, you know, you want to hear that straight six a bit more. So you want to do, you know, a little, a little a different muffler, different exhaust. Uh, you know, the possibilities are endless with these with these Z4s. They have a huge following, um, you know, great kind of aftermarket support as well if you're if you're into that. So as we're riding on the main road here, 
Uh, I'm going to loop back to that area we were at, uh, that nice kind of picturesque field. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there, and then we're going to put the top down. And we're going to enjoy this thing on this nice fall New England day with the top down, and then I'll give you some comments once we're there. And now we're back doing a very tight turn. This car has an amazing <laughs> turning circle, by the way. So now that we're back at our beautiful spot here in the countryside, let me put that top down for you. So what I'm gonna do is just hold the button and it does its thing. Of course, as having that option, you can't maybe put it down as fast as, as like a manual top, but then again, you know, with the power top, there's, there's nothing to it. I'm not, I'm not reaching back, you know, trying to pull it up. Uh, the Miata's, you know, Miata I, I drove for a while had manual top, so it's a very awkward to try to get back and get the right lever to get the top up. And of course, you've got your latches to worry about. Um, this does that all, all for you, and as we can see, it works beautifully here with the top stowed away. So now with the top down, uh, let's put it in first, and we'll go out for a little drive again. Now, I apologize if there's any maybe wind noise in the mic, um, but already I can hear that exhaust a bit better. And I am gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the windows up with the top down just for the sake of audio quality. So now, we've got all this space. And by the way, I'm, I'm six feet tall, uh, between 5'11 and, and six feet, depending on who you ask. But I'll just, we'll just say I'm six feet tall and I don't even have the seat all the way down in the car. It's maybe just about there. Um, but with the with the top up, you know, I my head wasn't in the roof, and you know, I have I have plenty of room um, in this car, and the AC, you know, all the climate control, all that works beautifully. Uh, when the top was up, I actually had the AC on, so because it's maybe 65 degrees today, and we've got some nice fall foliage to enjoy. And once again, now with the top down. It makes the same, uh, you know, this same twisty back road even that much more enjoyable. Especially, you're gonna go on a little Sunday afternoon drive, a little road trip. Especially, if maybe there's some, you know, there's some mountainous areas near you, some some awesome roads and, and scenery. You know, this is this is pretty much the best way you can enjoy it on on four wheels, in my opinion. Of course, it's being on a motorcycle, but you're much safer in a in a even a small vehicle like this. And you've just got everything to look everywhere you want. You've got the fresh smells of, you know, the area. Um, hopefully if that area smells good, you're driving through. Um, but, you know, and you can have your, your wife here, significant other, and, you know, both enjoy it together and not have to be all geared up, you know, maybe being on a, on a motorcycle. So that's really where the magic of this Z4 is, is it's, it really, it doesn't just make you know, maybe you're going to get groceries in this because it has a good sized trunk um, or you're commuting to work. You know, it, it turns that commute or getting from point A to point B and it makes it fun. That's that's why I like fun cars. I'll kind of only drive or buy fun cars because um, instead of just driving to work in the morning and you're kind of grumpy or whatever, you get in your car and you're excited to drive to work because you like, you like driving your car, you like driving. Um, so this this car is just, it's it purely resem resembles that. So now we're getting on that same main, main road, so we're gonna do a little acceleration here. And that's 50. So very short ratios in this gearbox. Um, you could even probably hear in the microphone, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, you know, RPM change. So when you're rolling through these gears, it's, it's keeping you right in the rev range. Um, of course, this is a five-speed, being the 2.5 uh, vehicle, and the you know highway cruising RPMs aren't too bad either. You know, around 60 or like around 3,000 RPM, maybe a bit below. So, you know, you can jump on the highway and, and go on a road trip, and you're going to be perfectly comfortable. And of course, this engine is designed to be rev freely. It likes the revs. That's where it makes the power, of course, as well. And as we're driving here too on this back road. Uh, you know, with the top down now, you know, you can really hear uh, that intake noise when you're rev matching. Let's see, we're in fourth, we're gonna go to third. So I'm not, hopefully the mic picks this up for you. 
go back to fourth, go to third again. You can hear just that, like that induction noise as you, you know, rev it up a little bit to rev match for those smooth, uh, you know, downshifts. And now we're back at this beautiful little spot here. Of course, even there's some, there's some bumps here and it handles it beautifully. The turning circle is insane on this car, how tight it is. It is, for being a sports car, which usually we know, usually sports cars like this, honestly, the turning circle isn't that good. Um, but this is just impressive. BMW really, really went out of their way to, however they designed the suspension and the steering rack to really give it all that steering angle. Which of course, steering angle is useful, you know, for having fun doing other things um, as well. So now that we're back at our, you know, beautiful spot here, let me let me get the camera focused back there a little bit. We can just see, even from inside the car, it looks beautiful. We can of course see that very clearly with the top down. So now uh, I'm gonna step out and we're gonna do a little, you know, condition overview. Uh, show you obviously this car being a 2004 it is really straight all original paint um, from our you know paint meter readings we did confirm that and you know original body panels um, but there's a couple little, little you know light light scrapes here and there um, of course with the with the age of it kind of just the usual wear and tear you'd expect with the um, with the age so of course we're, we're not hiding anything we're going to show you all that um, and I'll show you you know the engine compartment and the uh, boot space as well or the the trunk space sorry <laughs> Um, so now let's let's do that. And now that we're outside the Z4, I of course uh, left the top down. I really think that's what this car, you know, was intended for, especially to be um, admired with that awesome, awesome body style. So as we take a quick walk around it, uh, let me tell you quickly how we acquired it. So from its, uh, you know, most recent owner who enjoyed this car for quite a while, um, the specifics are in the listing on our website. So if you want to read from when this car was bought new all the way till we got it, the information is there. Um, but the most recent owner, they traded it in on a Mercedes uh, CLK 500 convertible. So we can just tell how well this car was cared for, uh, cared for and enjoyed as it was, there was a kind of ro a roadster, you know, a car enthusiast who owned it, especially um, they, you know, really liked the convertible uh, roadsters. So, now that we've covered kind of where this car came from, let's just take a closer look at its condition. It's nice that the sun is out today. I'm sorry for any weird shadows, um, but overall I've got the car kind of parked in line with the sun. And look how nice that color is. It's titanium silver metallic. And we can even see how nice the headlight lenses are. And of course, there's a few you know, little scuffs here and there on the front bumper. Maybe be able to point out, there's a, you know, there's a little bump there next to the uh, license plate frame. Of course, this being a 2004, it is low mileage with only 61,000 miles, but it, you know, it was enjoyed. It was uh, driven. And even looking down the side of the panel, I don't think this car is a single door ding. Because this car, the styling, that kind of sharp body line, on the side, you know, that is gonna be almost susceptible, susceptible, sorry, <laughs> to, to, to damage. Um, but you know, there's only, we can see there's like a tiny, tiny little surface scratch there and another just tiny, tiny surface scratch right there. And of course I'm pointing all this out to you because as I said, uh, we're showing you kind of the true condition of the car. Tires and brakes in excellent shape. And now looking at the passenger side, once again, in beautiful shape, even inside the gas cap, uh, nice and clean and orderly. And looking at the back of the car, same story there. Uh, even look at those exhaust pipes, those cleaned up really nice. You know, not really much uh, carbon buildup on them or anything. And now hitting our trunk pop button. Plenty of room, even though this has an automatic top. Uh, if I move out of the sun there, we can actually get a good view inside there. There's quite a bit of room in here. Honestly, that would rival sedans, smaller sedans. Um, in here as well, there is a wind guard um, that we can see uh, they go over 
Uh, th these go over the kind of roll bar protection, um, so that is included with the car. And we can even see I'm putting that trunk space to good use. There's some camera <laughs> equipment right there in one of those side pockets. So all very nice. I will put the top up in a few minutes so we can check out its full condition. Um, but we can even see the, the part we can see with it stowed away is very nice. Uh, let me just show you putting the top up here. So all we're gonna do is hold our button. It puts the windows back down to where they need to be. It automatically releases the uh, latch back there. And then we can hear the motor for it load up there as it presses it into the seal and self latches. So all, you know, all working as intended there. Um, and then all we gotta do, you know, we just roll our windows up or down to our desired level, whatever we're trying to do there. And we're back, you know, in the, in the cabin, um, enclosed cabin of this, you know, like I mentioned before, without having to reach anywhere or, or really do anything other than push a button. So that is a, you know, nice, uh, installed option that this Z4 has. And we're quickly cutting to this little segment. Uh, I said I would show you the top condition. I wanted to show you that inside our showroom as it has consistent uh, lighting that's not gonna like make anything appear that it isn't. <laughs> so overall, it's in really nice shape. There's some kind of normal areas, um, these couple of areas here. We can see just from how the car stows the top, uh, really, as soon as you start using any top that's on it, these areas are going to start developing. So we can see this side a uh, tiny bit better, but we still have, you know, just a couple of little kind of fold lines, I guess you could say, for when the top's down. But we can just see the material's really nice. It's not like thinning or worn out or like ripped or anything. The glass is super nice. The glass is real glass. It's not like a plastic um, insert. You can see it even has heater lines in it. Um, to defrost, uh, you know, snow or just help with water getting off of there as well. And now just taking a look, even at the door jams, you can see no, no surface rust even. You can tell this car was really driven sparingly. I, I really don't see how this car uh, saw salt or anything. It does not look evident of it. And that sort of that sort of orange you see there, uh, that's actually uh, body wax, like body sealant. Um, that's actually a rust preventative measure that a lot of the German's car, German cars have. Um, so what happens is over time, that kind of uh, waxy substance they use to prevent rust will kind of will kind of leak out of the cavities. Um, so that's a good sign there, seeing that's all still there. We can see the seats are in very nice shape. They're very comfortable as well. Almost no wear on that on that driver's seat. Checking out the dash condition. There is a little lower uh, compartment here. There's, there's like an old, I don't wanna say old. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a classic iPod style. There's like a 30 pin connector. Um, so there are ways of getting your music on this as well. Just do your own research there, I guess, with what device you're trying to use. But with the you can see the top buttons are there and the heated seats. That's the other option this car has. Um, so you can really extend the season of enjoying the top down. Uh, you know, even a cool night, you could put the heated seats on with the heat inside the car uh, and really have a nice time and not be too cold or anything. So we can see all the plastics are in very nice shape. Radio sounds awesome. You've even got speakers. Uh, you've even got speakers behind the seats here. And now let me show you the Nice compartment back here. We can see there's storage for like a pen. Uh, you could strap maybe a mobile phone there, something, something like that. And if I get out our original owner's manual, check out all the room back there. And there's almost like kind of two cubbies of space. There we go, I'm blocking the sun glare for you. So let's take a look at this. The original booklet here, owner's manual, even the original CD-ROM is is included with this car that is awesome and we can see we have our minimum uh computer requirements on there and it says to quit other applications before playing the cd-rom for the best performance so that is that is pretty awesome i like i like that this car as, as you can tell it was really always cared for throughout its you know years of being enjoyed. We can see the carpets are in great shape as well, and we've got the protective plastic um, in them. 
So they will, they'll remain, you know, in the same freshly detailed condition until, you know, you, the next owner, picks it up. Gauges, everything in awesome shape, everything works great. Uh, has an auto headlight function as well. And as I said, uh, the AC works ice cold. We can even see common areas like the radio buttons and HVAC controls, uh, really no wear on them. So that's awesome to see. Um, as we know with the uh, you know classic German cars, uh, a lot of the buttons and stuff, the, the finish tends to wear off over time if they're used a lot, um, especially if the car isn't cleaned regularly, the kind of you know dirtiness and, and the like on the interior also wears it out faster when you don't clean it regularly. So with this one, we can even see this little uh, flip-up panel works great, and I don't see any evidence of there having been, you know, uh, ash in there as well with that, with that ashtray being there. So now I believe the last thing, uh, we're just gonna pop the hood and show you what goes on under here. Of course, with a premium German car, we get the awesome uh, pop struts or the pneumatic pneumatic struts there. So it just need one hand to open it. Very clean under here, very orderly. You can even see the strut braces there. That's part of how you get that driving experience. We can see the uh, bracing, very stiff, stiff chassis. And of course, part of that is to make up for it being a convertible. But that's kind of all there is to it in here. BMW, you know, tried and true. A uh, straight six, 2.5 liter. Everything's in really nice shape, especially things to look for in these cars is signs of like rodent damage. Uh, you know, with these cars not being driven a whole lot in their life, depending on where they're stored, you know, rodents, <laughs> rodents need a place to live as well. And they love cars because they're warm um, and usually pretty, pretty clean wherever they may find. And there's lots of wires to chew on too, unfortunately. But this car, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Um, on any of the you know harnesses in the engine bay or underneath this car we can just see this open area here um, and over here it's just always always so clean and we can even look down into the fender there see how clean that is only a little bit of that body wax i told you about earlier that's all that orange stuff is so and we even have the vin uh, the vins on that strut tower as well and even the underside of the hood once again very clean i I don't see how um, this car could have ever been driven in the salt or in a snowstorm or something um, by the looks of all the, you know, common areas that like to show, to show corrosion. Even looking at the bottom of the, like, fenders, you know, it's in, it's in very nice condition. Same thing with the wheels. Um, everything is just in uh, really kind of tip-top shape for the year, like I said. There's a little bit of normal wear and tear here and there, as I've pointed out. But that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about this Z4. Uh, this is available at the date of this video. So visit our website, give us a call, 978-263-9000. You can see even this little bug, <laughs> even this little bug likes the, the Z4 there. So my name is Ian. I've been reporting from this local really just beautiful landscape, uh, the perfect place for a, you know, top-down roadster like this Z4. Uh, please like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.